Okay, you want to start? Okay. So, I'm presenting the results from the group, the CBT in group format for IBS. And the treatment is 10 weeks in group, concerning of 6 to 8 IBS patients that are treated uh, with a protocol that are mainly focused on exposure. Uh, so the patients are sort of exposed to the symptoms that are we are afraid of and the meaning with that is that the exposure will create less fear for the symptoms and in the end also less symptoms because it's the fear of symptoms that often drives the symptoms nowadays. So what we can see is that we have this scale here is a reduction in the BSI this eye, which is a scale that um, and it shows us that you have less fear for your symptoms of the treatment than before. And that gives the effect on the, um, the IBS symptoms. You can see they are reduced of treatment. And what you can see as an effect of all that is that the uh, quality of life gets better. better. So that's mainly uh, that. So this is patients that are treated in a clinical context. So it's no randomized controlled trial, it's a clinical trial. Uh, and um, I think about 70% of the patients are uh, uh, getting the goal of being uh, well, well enough, so to speak. So, so there's 70% success in this type of treatment. And this protocol we also use uh, via the internet, so you can have this type of, of treatment via the internet also. And in those studies that have done via the internet, we have seen the same results. So, so it's a great treatment, we think, and many patients are healthy and happy with it. So this is how it looks when you do it in real life. So, so in a nutshell, can you uh, tell me about the conclusion? The conclusion is that uh, CBT is uh, a good treatment for IBS patients, reducing the symptoms, uh, reduces the uh, gut-related anxiety and fear, fear and also uh, increases the quality of life uh, in this patient. Okay, thank you and good luck in your work. Thank you, thank you.